Good afternoon. Everyone can find a seat. Thank you. Today we are very happy to be here to applaud and appreciate the outstanding athletic efforts of Mr. Aiden Lopez. Today is also very exciting as it is our second letter of intent for this school year here at Eagle Pass High School. And we have shifted from softball to baseball, once again proving that here at Eagle Pass High School, those two sports dominate and create their own dynasty. And now to say a few words, we have EPHS Athletic Coordinator, Coach Tom Gonzalez. Good afternoon, welcome everyone. Uh, it's obviously a special day in, in the Lopez family. Uh, congratulations to you all. And it's a, you know, Aiden's a very talented uh, senior and he uh, plays on a very talented baseball squad that's tops in the state. And we all know that and we're very proud of, of our so uh, baseball team, softball team, everyone like that. But Aiden is very good. Everyone who knows Aiden, knows that he makes a difference on any team. And we know that you know, uh, you're gonna go over there and make a difference at Wharton and beyond. So we're very proud of you, Aiden. Good luck over there. Do the best you can, represent Eagle Pass and uh, your family. We love you. Thank you, Coach. And now to welcome you all to his campus, we have Eagle Pass High School Principal, Mr. Luis Huerta. Well, good afternoon, everyone. First of all, thank you for being here. And yes, like Ms. Byrne mentioned, it is a very special recognition. I've seen Mr. Lopez since he was a freshman here at Eagle Pass High School, and I've seen that tremendous growth. But like I always tell parents and school and everyone, the success of one of our students doesn't happen, doesn't happen overnight. It takes a lot of work. It takes work, first of all, from the parents. So let's give your parents a hand, please. Let's go, the parents a hand. Any family members that are here? Family members? All the family members, give them a hand, please. It is a takes a village. So Mr. Lopez, I'm very proud of you. You've done an amazing job. Uh, thank you, family. Thank you, parents. Thank you, relatives, for all the support. It's not just this four years, but I know a lot of our students, it goes back to Little League. It goes back to when they're five, six years old, and they start with T-ball and then baseball and go into their games and, and show them what is a sport. But most importantly, Mr. Lopez has learned to love the sport. And as a principal, I know he's going to do an amazing job. And you're representing Eagle Pass High School, but most importantly, you're representing yourself and your family. So I'm proud of you. The one thing I ask you is to go out there, show everyone who Mr. Lopez is, and show everyone what it is to come from Eagle Pass High School, and come back, get your degree, come back, and continue to inspire more students at Eagle Pass High School. This is your house, will always be your house. God bless you, Miguel. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Huerta. You know, I have a sense of deja vu being here this afternoon because I th think it was three years ago, four years ago, we were here in this gym doing an exact same letter of intent and Aiden was sitting there, except he was sitting there watching the letter of intent for his older brother. In that moment, he knew that he was going to continue his family's legacy. And today, now his brother's sitting by him, watching him sign his letter of intent. And that in itself is an amazing feat. So let's give them a round of applause. And now to talk about just what an amazing athlete Aiden is, we're going to bring up his head coach, the leader of the Eagle Pass High School baseball dynasty, Coach Reynold Mendoza. Thank you, Danny. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a uh, really, it's a great pleasure to be here in front of you guys and uh, speak you know, on behalf of Aiden. Uh, I want to congratulate Aiden and especially his parents. 
and his family, because I know you guys, since he was little, have been, have been supporting him and have been behind him and uh, getting him to where he's at today. So uh, it's been a pleasure having Aiden with us for three years already. And this, this year will be our fourth, the fourth year. And uh, it's going to be an exciting season for us. I know he's had some bumps in the road with injuries, but he's always overcome those bumps in the road. And it's, it started when he was a little kid in Little League. And his dad was coaching him all throughout his, uh, his youth. And he, the All-Stars would come around, and Aiden was battling to get there into the All-Star teams. And then I remember when these guys played uh, uh, the Little League uh, regionals here at, uh, in Eagle Pass, and uh, I went to watch because I was like, this little group of 11, 12-year-old kids, you know, they're going to be up here with the Eagles eventually. So I wanted to go watch most of these guys here. And uh, Aiden would, would go bad. And if he wouldn't get a hit, if he wasn't successful, he would get really upset. And uh, then you could see the eyes get all watery because he wanted to do so well. And when I saw that, and then, you know, some people say, oh, he cries when he strikes out. He said, no. Oh, to me, it was just determination because he wanted, he had that determination in him that he wanted to be successful, he wanted to succeed, and he wanted to do well. And that's exactly when he got here his freshman year to so start off on JV. We knew he was going to have, he was going to be a big part of our program. He matured a little bit. His sophomore year, he, he got on varsity and, uh, and, and did really well. But all that, that his parents and his family have done throughout, throughout his life is what's made him successful now in the summer, and it's going to continue to make it successful down the road in college. But first, we got to finish out strong here, and then you can go to college. But congratulations to Aiden. Super proud of him. Super proud of what David Lopez, his, brother, his dad, and his brother have done, especially Mr. Lopez, who's helped out with, our, with most of our kids playing here at the high school. Um, it's awesome to see the, the camaraderie that our players have, the, the camaraderie that the parents have, and uh, Thanks a lot. This is one of the first steps for our, for our boys, of many of them to come to, to continue to sign uh, 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 letters of intent. So once again, congratulations, and the, yet, the best is yet to come, mijo. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Being able to be out here is a true feat in itself, because if you were here a couple weeks ago, uh, Mr. Mata wanted to challenge me and say that it wasn't 1% of high school athletes that make it to play college ball. I did look it up and he was right, but only by 1%. 2% of all high school athletes now get to call themselves collegiate. And as a testament as that is to the child itself, it's an even bigger testament to the parents because you do not get your dreams to become reality unless you have an amazing support system behind you. And just looking right here to the left of me, I think Aiden's support system is pretty amazing, don't you think? <laughs> so without further ado, I'd like to introduce to the podium Aiden's father, Mr. David Lopez, come up and say a few words. Okay, not yet, not yet. Can you hear me? Yeah. Well, first of all, um, I want to thank the administration, principal, Mr. Huerta, Ms. Burton. Thank you for having us. Coaches, Coach Tom, Renaud Mendoza, all the coaches that are here with us today. Um, some of the other coaches that have been coaching Aiden throughout. Um, when he was growing up, we have Tavare here also, who's helped us out, um, and parents. A lot of the parents that have been with me and have uh, – worked on this path to get where we are right now and um as that coach says uh, the bet the best is yet to come but um i had something written on a sheet of paper and i'm gonna switch it off a little bit um aiden i am very very proud to be your dad and uh it is an amazing feeling to be here right now i'm gonna hold it in i'm gonna try to hold it in here so it's an amazing feeling to be here right now with you and at this time Having all your friends and family, um, you've seen, you've grown up with all these kids and, and gone through a lot. Coach was right, when you were younger, you would cry and I would get mad at you all the time, say, stop crying or I'm not gonna play you no more. And sit on the damn bench, you're not gonna play if you cry. But it was a, a constant coming back and playing and, and getting better and better. Um, 
you I've worked with David and then you just always came along and was always there and we've been working a lot um, you've been through a lot of bumps on this road uh, one bump was your surgery that you had the first one which was pretty hard um, every time we go out there it's a it's a you and me thing it's something that we talk about about being together your first surgery that uh, we were at Dr. Curtis the doctor comes up and he's like you know what your son is going to need surgery he's going to have to go through it he's there's no way around it so um we stood up we gathered around we cried together prayed a little bit but when we walked out of that office out of dr curtis office aiden sits in the truck in the back seat and he's crying and he's saying dad the first thing he said was dad get me into that surgery now because i want to be ready for when the season starts and you know what that heart the heart of a lion that i tell you that we always have to have you got a kid and you're going to bounce back from this from this rehab that you're going through right now and you're going to be the man and you're going to show up the way you're supposed to show up since the beginning of the season and i know you will and i'm super proud of you i'm super proud to be your dad i know your mom is proud your little sister is proud and your brother is too your brother loves you even though you argue all the time but he's always there and he's always looking at what you're doing and moving forward this is not um this is the beginning here we have our first goal is to go and make it a state and let's win that and i told you guys on that chat that we have i put it 2022 let's go to state it says something like that right guys so let's start there let's do work and then follow up go to college play baseball dad and get your degree and be someone in life the person that i know that you're going to be i love you with all my heart thank you and with that i think it's the perfect moment to segue into i think it's time to sign that paper don't you think yeah <laughs> And there you have it, Wharton College's newest pioneer. Let's keep that applause loud and going as we welcome to the podium, Aiden Lopez. break okay first and foremost I would like to thank the man upstairs because without him none of this would be possible today second to my family dad I want you I want to thank you to introduce me to the game I love most you pushed me to the, be the best possible athlete and man I could be our goal of making it to the next level is complete I thank I can't thank you enough you're the best dad I can ever ask for mom Mom, where do I even start? <laughs> I've always been a mama's boy. <laughs> You're always there with open arms, especially when dad's a little mad because I went over for four <laughs> with two strikeouts. <laughs> you always put me first and would do anything to make me happy. Love you, mom. David, my brother, my best friend. You're the one I look up to most. It is always fun to it's, a, it's always a fun time when you're around. Every time we go out to the field, <laughs> it, it has to be a competition. Like who could hit the most home runs or who could hit the ball the farthest. I couldn't do it without you. Love you, bro. <laughs> Last but not least, Marty. <laughs> Even after all the fights and arguing, <laughs> you, 
you have always been there for me. <laughs> From videotaping my bats to screaming your lungs out when I'm on the field. I know it doesn't show often, but I do love you. <laughs> to my friends, thank you for pushing me to strive to be the best I could be. Being there for me at times in need. To my coaches from T-Ball to high school, I can't thank you guys enough for all you have taught me about the game I'm most passionate about. This has been a goal of mine since day one, from great times with friends on the diamond to all the rough times with injuries and always being doubted. I'm grateful, I'm grateful for the support from everyone because without y'all, I wouldn't be here where I am today. A bittersweet moment and a big thank you once again as I'm ready to start my new chapter as a pioneer. Go Eagles and go Pioneers, baby. Before every ceremony, I get to say a few words with our man of the hour and talk to them a little bit about who helped them get to where they are. And they always pick out a few special people to come up and say a few words. This, the selection for this afternoon are Alan Vilma, Davare Chavez, Isaac Stanwick, and his big brother, David Lopez. Well, um, before I start, I just want to, I would like to start by congratulating Aiden and his family on his big day. Aiden and I have been close friends since, we have been close friends since we were little kids. I grew up with Aiden playing baseball since as long as I can remember. From playing baseball and t-ball until now. Aiden is not only a great friend, but also a great teammate because he made me the player I am today. I still can't believe I won't be playing on the same field as Aiden. I remember going on tournaments almost every weekend in the summer with his dad, talking about playing college ball together, and that day is finally here. I'm glad I was able to see Aiden grow, grow as an awesome baseball player. Last but not least, Aiden, I wish you nothing but the best in college, and I know you're destined for great things. Good afternoon. To keep things short, I just want to say that I've been playing alongside Aiden for as long as I can remember. And from what I can recall, he has always had the talent and passion to play this game. Beginning from Little League, I knew this guy was going to be much different than the rest of us. Not just in his play style, but in the attitude he had towards the game and overall good teammate he was. It's going to feel awkward at first seeing Aiden represent another small city when he and I had been representing Eagle Pass since Little League. But I'm more than sure he will have even greater success at the next level. I'm honored to say I have been a part of Aiden's journey and got to see him grow, <clears throat> grow not only into a better baseball player, but an all-around humble young man as well. To say I'm proud of you is an understatement, Aiden. I'm excited to see you play at the next, at the next level and wish you the best of luck on your, on your future endeavors. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'd like to start off by saying that I'm really proud of you, Aiden and what he has accomplished so far in his baseball career is just, this is just the beginning. Aiden and I have been playing baseball together since we were about nine years old. Growing up, baseball was all we knew, and the memories we have made will last a lifetime. From messing around in the hotel hallways, to long drives, to tournaments, as well as the sacrifices that have come along with it, you can finally say that it has paid off. On the field, Aiden is a threat to opposing pitchers. I can, speak of that, I can speak of that myself as he has always given me his best when we face each other. The reason I say this is because he never wants me to have bragging rights. On the field, Aiden is a very competitive player that plays the game the right way and with a lot of heart. I admire his passion for the sport as well as his resiliency to never give up when times get tough. Off the field, Aiden is a, is a guy that likes to put in extra work because of his desire to become better and better. Aiden has dealt with a lot of adversity with injuries throughout the past couple of years, and the way he has been able to come back even, even better is truly remarkable and shows what type of person he is. Aiden, I want to say that I'm really proud of you. You deserve everything coming your way. Keep being the way you are, and keep playing the game with a lot of heart and passion. Congratulations, God bless you, and go Pioneers. Uh, 
I'm just like my dad, so 15 seconds, I'm going to start crying too. Uh, first, I want to say congratulations, Aiden, mom and dad, Mari, of course. Um, seeing you grow up these past few years and mature as an athlete and a human being has been amazing. Um, I know we argue a lot, but I, I love you. You're my best friend, how you said. <clears throat> Seeing you go through everything that you have been through and um, still being able to be the athlete that you are says that you are one in a million. There's not many people that can do what you've done and um, I'm proud of you for that. I know you're going to go there and you're going to be the best agent you can be. And by the looks of it, it's going to be real great. You continue to be you and have fun. Be that charismatic, that funny kid. Never change for anyone. I love you. Since the school year has started, I've been working with Aiden as he is a member of the Eagle Pass ISD Spirit Ambassadors. And not only is he continuing in the tradition of becoming an Eagle Pass High School baseball player who signed a letter of intent, he is officially the seventh EPISD Spirit Ambassador to sign a collegiate letter of intent. So he continues to not only be a role model for his fellow athletes in his program, but he continues to be a role model for the entire district as a whole. Yesterday, we had the pleasure to work with the city of Eagle Pass, working on bike lines in front of this, this very school. And I remember I looked at Gunnar Caballero and I was like, do you think Aiden can do this with his arm? And he was like, oh yeah, Aiden can do anything. And so that is definitely a testament to what happened this afternoon. I would like to thank you all for joining us and please rise one more time so we can give Mr. Aiden Lopez, Wharton College Pioneers, one last round of applause. This does conclude the formal part of our ceremony. We will begin with pictures. We're going to start with immediate family and then we'll do campus admin, coaching staff, spirit ambassador picture, and then team. So let's get our family up. Thank you.